Okay, I don't know how many of you have a quick lift. It's great. Those things, these things are fantastic. But uh, lifting each ramp and putting a stanchion under them got to be very, very tiring. each individual ramp and trying to slide the standard under was kind of a pain. These things are not heavy. They're not light at all. I'm trying to work with one hand with the ramp and one hand with the stanchion just got to be very tiring. So, with the, with the aid of a bar and uh, some angle iron welded on in the center just to give it some more, uh, a little more strength, a little more rigidity. And the aid of some D-rings on each wrap. I'm able to uh, do it very easily. Just got to slide the slide the pipe in. scissor jack uh, that I got from Harbor Freight. I modified it to be a little more wider at the base and I just put a little C-channel on there just to give it a little more stability. Okay. that. A short work out of that. Make sure it's 
sitting proper. Effortless. You still have to jack up the back by hand. There's no way of getting around that unless you want to uh, make up some kind of hydraulics, but then it kind of, that would get in the way of uh, having full access of the underside of the car, whatever car you're going to put on. In my case right now, it's going to be my uh, 2008 Volvo XC70, which I'm going to do an oil change and plugs, cabin filter, and I want to do the air filter, but they don't have it. It's coming Monday, so I'll do what I can today, but this is a whole other video.